Today, we will talk about rosacea. Rosacea is a chronic inflammatory disorder characterized by facial redness, by telangiectasia, which are small dilated blood vessels, also known as spider veins. It presents erythema, and in severe cases, it can lead to what would be rhinophyma, which I have even already talked about. A brief introduction, rhinophyma is an enlarged, bumpy nose that presents some deformities. Rosacea occurs in people from 30 to 50 years of age. It predominates much more in women and in people with fair skin. The causes that can lead to rosacea are unknown, but there are some theories. It is said that it could be due to an obstruction of the facial venous drainage, abnormal vasomotor control, among others. Rosacea affects much more on the face, on the cheek, chin, forehead, chin, nose, and rarely affects the neck, the scalp, the back, etc. To diagnose rosacea as purely clinical, it needs to be evaluated, know more about the patient, and that will be done very well by the dermatologist. We must differentiate rosacea from vulgar acne, as rosacea presents several phases. And in the inflammatory phase, it presents papules and pustules, giving the sensation that it was a thumb acne. And sometimes we end up confusing rosacea with acne to treat rosacea. First, we must make changes in our lifestyle. Stop drinking alcoholic beverages, smoking, and also avoid very hot things. Stress can also trigger rosacea. You can also use creams with metronidazole. The use of oral or topical antibiotics can be considered. Always remember to go to a trusted dermatologist.